All right, so the people who've been watching me for a while know that when I do these sit down talks, it's usually when I'm doing a q and I've never actually done a specific video on one topic. So today we're doing something a little bit differently, but I get asked continuously about what programs I recommend, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or expert, or a lot of you guys probably don't even know what the difference between a beginner program, intermediate program, or an expert program is. So what we're basically gonna do today is go over what program I would recommend for you, and we're gonna get into what classifies you as a beginner lifter, intermediate lifter, or an expert lifter, lifter, and what classifies you in those three categories is your strength levels. Um, so if you're strictly a bodybuilder, it doesn't really apply to you as much, but the programs that I run and that I recommend for naturals to get the best strength and the best aesthetics possible or build the most amount of muscle would be strength hypertrophy programs, which basically means like an off-season powerlifter program. And what I mean by that is starting out with a bench squat or a deadlift, lifting heavy, and then getting into your accessory movements after you do your main three movements. And real quick, before we get into the video, I just want to say that I'm not Jeff Nyapard. I'm not, I don't have a PhD in nutritional science or exercise science, so this is my personal experience. I've done my research, I've been lifting for five years, four and a half, five years now. Um, I've gotten great results, I have friends who've gotten great results doing the things that I'm going to talk about. I've had clients that have gotten great results and I've taken things from different really good fitness YouTubers, just different things from all over the internet. I've read a lot of different studies and things like that and that's where I kind of come up with what I'm going to be talking about today. So yeah, with that out of the way, I'm, I don't have a PhD, guys, but this is just my personal experience, and I hope it can help you guys out. All right, so I made up a little poster just to help you guys visualize what I'm saying a little bit better, and so that I could kind of get my thoughts together a little bit easier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with the beginner section right here. Now you'll see right here it says beginner, and then it says bench 200, squat 300, and deadlift 400. Now what those numbers mean are, that puts your bench squat and deadlift numbers in the beginner bracket, when it comes to the three levels. When I first started lifting, guys, I would go to the gym like six days a week, right? I would absolutely murder myself. I'd, ha I'd hit 30 sets every single time. Um, I was doing pretty much a legs push pull type split. When I first started going to the gym, I learned that I just didn't need that much volume to grow and that it was actually counterproductive to do more volume rather than getting in the workouts I needed to get, the heavy compound workouts, getting stronger at those movements. And then once I built that strength base, then I needed a more intermediate level program. So now the next thing I wanna talk about is the reason why I say three, two, four days a week is you can find a program that is three days a week that's absolutely great. You can make great results on it. You can get your numbers from beginner numbers to intermediate level numbers only going to the gym three days a week if you hit it really hard. What type of program would you wanna be running for a three to four day a week type split? Now, right here it says full body and then we have upper, lower split. What I personally ran when I was in my beginner stages and what I give my clients and what I recommend the most is a full body routine, either three or four days a week. You guys can look up online just beginner program. If you look up a beginner program, you'll be able to find a full body that's three or four days a week. You wanna just make sure this program starts out with a bench, a squat, or a deadlift on all of the days, on all four days. So let's just say day one is, um, five by five squat, five by five bench. Then day two, it starts out with um, five by five on the overhead press and a five by five deadlift, right? When it comes down to it, just make sure the program is starting out with heavy compound lifts and then it's going into your accessory movements after that, like your pull-ups, your rows, all those types of things. When it comes to full bodies, you guys could Google the Jason Blaha program. That's a really, really good program. I'm gonna be coming out with a better version of that I'm coming out with um, three different programs, a beginner, intermediate, and expert within the next few weeks. So I'll let you guys know when that comes out. But for now, you, you could just look up the Jason Blaha program. It's a great program. It's a program that I personally ran. It starts out with your heavy compound movements and then it gets into your important accessories. If you wanna run an upper lower split, you're definitely gonna wanna go four days a week, right? You can run a full body routine and you can find a really good one on, online somewhere that's three days a week and still making sure you're starting out with your bench squat and deadlift, but you can find a good one for three days a week on the full body. When it comes to your upper lower, you're gonna to wanna to do two lowers and two uppers a week, 
um, to keep everything proportionate. You can find a good upper lower split online as well. And the reason why it's so good to be following a specific program is because how you can track your progress and lift more the next week. So if you're just going to the gym, just doing whatever you feel like doing and you're not on a specific program, what's gonna happen is you're not gonna be progressing as quickly as you could be. So for example, if you're on a specific program, it says day one, three sets of 10 bench, right? When you do your three by 10 bench press, you're gonna do, let's just say 150 pounds, right? The next time you do that workout, then you're gonna do 155 pounds, then 160 pounds, and you're gonna keep progressing as much as you absolutely possibly can. That's kind of how it works. When it comes to full bodies, three or four days a week, when it comes to upper lower splits, you have to be doing four days a week to keep it proportionate. Make sure that you're focusing on increasing the weight every single workout that you possibly can. It's pretty simple. And one more thing that I threw down here, which is something that I do recommend for the people who are just itching to go to the gym and they have a lot of time, whether you're in high school or college or whatever the case is, you can throw in an extra arm day, make it four or five days, and it's just gonna be very low impact on your body. It's gonna help your arms grow. Everyone who first starts lifting wants them big ass pipes. So if you wanna throw that in there, that's fine. Just make sure you're not doing anything like any heavy benching or any benching at all. Maybe some really high rep, close grip stuff, but for the most part, just stay to just your arm machines, your curls, um, your push downs, all those types of things if you're gonna do that. But yeah, that's a pretty good overview when it comes to what type of program you're gonna wanna run when you're a beginner and what you wanna look for when you're looking to find a good program. I am coming out with three different programs, a beginner, intermediate, and expert and it's gonna be extremely cheap, like 15, 20 bucks. So you're gonna get a program, you're gonna get explanation for the program, mobility routine slash warm up routine that you're gonna do before the workout, all with really good explanations. You're gonna have videos of all the exercises on there, all my dieting advice, everything like that. So if you guys wanna find some programs for the next few weeks before mine come out, or even if you don't wanna run mine, you don't wanna buy mine, absolutely fine. I'm still gonna give you guys this advice because I want you guys to be making gains. Anyways, we're gonna get into the intermediate section. We'll see how it says bench 200 plus, squat 300 plus, and deadlift 400 plus. Basically, once you're lifting over these numbers, you're in the intermediate area. So when you're lifting over these three numbers and you're in intermediate until you're benching over 300, squatting over 400, deadlifting over 500. And remember, these numbers that are on this board are just rough estimates. If you're in the expert area, you could be squatting 800, benching 600. And yeah, I mean, if you're in the intermediate area, you might, have a bench of 180 and a squat of 320, a bench, I mean, a deadlift of like 415. It's just these are rough numbers, rough estimates. So yeah, keep that in mind. But yeah, we have three points here. The three points that I wanted to hit home when you're in the intermediate area is to be lifting five to six days per week because you just simply need more volume to continue to grow stronger and gain muscle mass optimally. You just simply need more volume. Um, the program that I would recommend you run when you're in this area is the legs push pull split. Now the reason why I like the legs push pull split the most is because on your leg day obviously you're doing all lower body. Then on your push day you're going to be doing chest, shoulders, triceps. Then on your back day or your pull day you're going to be doing back, biceps, traps. So I don't recommend when you're in the intermediate area or even the expert area to do a specific chest day, a specific tricep day, a specific trap day like trap and shoulder day i recommend that you keep your chest shoulder and triceps together all in one day because you're working your triceps when you're working your chest you're working your triceps when you're working your shoulders so keeping your chest shoulders and triceps together keeping your back and biceps together and keeping your legs together is what i recommend because if you're natural um, the best way to grow is to be hitting your body parts frequently but you just simply don't need 30 sets of chest so doing your few sets of chest, your few sets of shoulders, few sets of triceps is all you're gonna need to be optimally growing and not overtraining any muscle groups. That's why I like legs push pull so much. And then down here it says switch up rep ranges. So we're gonna get into that in a second. This is the main thing that I want you guys to focus on in this area. When you're trying to look for a legs push pull split and you're in the intermediate area, you might wanna to try to find a program that only has one leg day per week. A program that you find might have you squatting on a pull day which is completely normal just to get a little bit of extra leg volume in but yeah i would recommend in the intermediate level finding a program where you're only lifting five days a week so it would be something like legs push pull off and then you'd have push pull you could also do a program that has two leg days a week which would be 
legs push pull off legs push pull if you want to do legs twice a week be my guess but in my opinion i feel like you don't really need that much leg volume until you're over into the expert area and when it says switch up your rep ranges in my opinion best programs the best legs push pull programs have different workouts every single week and what that does is it allows you to just get different rep ranges in so you can be lifting heavy some weeks you're going to be lifting lighter some weeks it just makes lifting a little bit more fun in my opinion that's legs push pull split routines they basically have specific specific rep ranges for every single week. So when you're on a program like this, a beginner program, you're gonna be doing the same rep ranges over and over again. And that's what you wanna do when you're in the beginner range. But when you come over to needing some more volume and stuff like that, it just is a little bit more fun when you have a program that week to week changes the sets and the reps that you're doing. And it also helps you progress faster. So when you're finding a program like that, make sure that it does include that. I will also link down below an intermediate and an expert program. And I'll also put a link actually to the Jason Blaha program so you guys can check out all these programs and see what I'm talking about. And you'll be able to see what I'm talking about when I say switch up the rep ranges. And you guys can also run all three of those programs. So yeah, that should be very helpful. Now we're gonna move over to the expert, expert area. Now what the expert range is, is over a 300 bench, over a 400 squat, and over a 500 deadlift. So yeah, that's that. Now, when you're in this range, the main thing I want you guys to understand is if you've been in the intermediate number range for a while, you're just starting to get into that expert area, and you feel like you're not progressing as fast and things like that, you're not getting as much muscle, you're not getting stronger as quickly, that's probably because of this point right here where it says lots of volume. Basically at this point, your body's gonna need a lot of volume to continue growing in size, so to get bigger, and also your body is gonna need a lot of volume to get stronger, so you're gonna wanna find definitely a six day a week program. And where it says six to seven, add an extra arm day in, like one or two times a month, you can also do that as well. The program that you're actually running should be six days a week, and you wanna make sure that the program, like we were talking about in the intermediate, has those specific rep ranges that are changing week to week so that you can run the program for however many weeks it is. Let's say it's a four week program, you run the program, right? Then when you rerun the program for another four weeks, you can increase the weight. That's how you make the gains. That's how you get bigger and stronger. So yeah, the expert people, you guys probably have a good idea of how to train properly, but I just wanted to put this on there. For those of you guys who are not making gains when you're around these 300, 400, 500 numbers, and you're kind of wondering like, why am I plateauing? It's probably because you need a program with very specific sets and reps that are changing week to week. You're bench squatting and deadlifting very often with very high volume, and that's pretty much what it takes in that expert area to actually see any real results. It All right, I'm done with that. I hope that this video could help you guys out. It might've been a little bit all over the place. I, I tried to explain it the best that I could. Like I said, I don't have a PhD, but I feel like if you guys go by the things that we just talked about, then you will be on the right track. I'm gonna link the three programs down below. I've ran all three of these programs. I love them all. Um, on top of that, I'm gonna be coming out with three new ones in the next week and a half to two weeks, and it's gonna have an explanation for all of them, so it'll show you exactly how to run them. It's gonna come with my dieting advice. It's gonna come with a mobility routine, everything like that. So yeah, I'll let you guys know when they come out. But anyways, yeah, that's gonna be the end of this part of the video. What I'm gonna do right now is actually head over to the gym. Today is an off day, and I just feel like going into the gym, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit an arm day, try to bring up these lagging ass biceps, and yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys through the entire arm workout put the sets and the reps up on the screen so you guys can follow this arm workout. While you're following your beginner, intermediate, or expert program, you can throw this arm day in there. Use this arm day and stay consistent with all the workouts on it and just make sure you're increasing the weights as much as you possibly can. That will help the arms grow. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm not gonna be talking anymore. I'm just gonna do the arm routine in here. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, comment down below, let me know, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the workout.
I stereotype fucked up minds Every day There's a choice Where to go And you can turn it around Crossing the street and she could be the one that kills you.